Deep what? right center. Oh, what a freaking play. Oh, my God. What gosh. a damn catch. And look at Harper get back. They got him. Oh, baby. Game oh over. My. Harper was going for it. And also, you can't, dude. You can't blame him. It, like, I, I, mean, I don't blame him. It, if he scores there, we're talking forever about what a read by Bryce. Because you yeah. have to, you have to get going on your horse if you're trying to score there, and you're going up against the closer. You're not stringing together hits necessarily. What a freaking play by Michael Harris in center field to save the day. Otherwise, it's a tie game. Wow. Otherwise, this yeah, watch that... party was going until midnight in the 16th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. So much for the three innings. We would be. Wow. Here what a dub. Dude, that ball off the bat, though. Man, I thought that was out of here. Castellanos has ridiculous pop to right center. Wow. What a win for the Atlanta Braves. Scotty Braun and Danny Graves. Let's recap it for a few minutes. Woo! Roller coaster ride. (laughs) Braves season on the brink. And they get to Wheeler. And to Jeff Hoffman, obviously, ultimately, with Austin Riley. And the homer. I mean, there are a lot of dudes to highlight. Obviously on both sides. But for Atlanta, bullpen kept this thing intact. Snicker playing Darno, Riley being Riley. And Michael Harris, we're still looking at replays right now. Of the catch that he made against the fence. Actually, yo, his face could have taken a pretty good hit against the, uh, the metal part. But... Face hits the padding like he's been there before. What a play. And then just Did whips you see the that? thing to the infield. It's like, whatever. Somebody pick it up because Bryce is still <laughs> at second yeah. when he catches it. And Olsen gets him easy as Bryce slides back. I mean, if you're Bryce, though, like, are you blaming him for the aggression there? No way. Because if, if Harris doesn't catch that, you have to score. And – he does score if he drops that ball. But I think what saved the Braves right there, Austin Riley was backing up the double cut, the double relay. So the relay missed um, both second baseman and shortstop that were out there. And Austin Riley came running from third and picked it up and threw it to, to first immediately. If he doesn't back that up, Harper's safe. Nobody's talking about it. Wow. Wow. Incredible. And of course, Riley, the guy that hit the game-winning home run, makes the, the play to end the game. That was crazy. That was crazy. What about back in the first inning when Max Fried was on the ropes, four hits for the Phils only turns into one run. I know it's way back there, and they were carrying a 4 nothing lead, so you would think the way their bullpen has been that they can hold it, but it's the Braves. Like you got to put up runs. I mean, we were talking about this for a while. I was like, Braves are going to have to win some like six, five, six, four, Mm -hmm. five, four, obviously types of games. You know, this is not a a team that's like, Oh, we got to take those two nothing contests. And obviously they got shut out in game one, which there was very little chance that was going to happen in back-to-back games. The way Wheeler was going though, for a while it was working, but it is hard to keep that, that offense down. And that offense is really the best looking lineup in baseball this year. So if you're going to do anything, you got to get to, you know, the Phillies bullpen, which they were able to do. And if you're Philadelphia on the other side, you're, you're playing against a team that was a powerhouse this year. You got to strike at the moments when you've got it hot, like bags full, got to pick up more than a run. If you can, I mean, who was so stripling was with us towards the beginning of the watch along that we did. And he said, man, If I'm Max Freed and the way I looked in that first inning, giving up four knocks and I go to the dugout and I'm like, they only gave up, I only gave up one run with the (laughs) offense that I have for later. I'm actually feeling myself a little bit. Yeah, no, that that's such a great point. That that was obviously the difference in the game right there to get out of that. um, You know, the Phillies left, let them off the hook to have all them hits in the first inning and only one run scored. And then he goes out for however many, three more innings and flips some breaking balls up there. And, and I mean, yeah, they're down for nothing, but he kept his team in the game. It didn't explode, you know, and then look what happens. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Incredible. Incredible. And then you get another day off, obviously. And 
head over to Philadelphia for a game three in this series. And what a flip. What a flip. Yeah. I mean, the Braves didn't announce, and maybe they'll announce it soon, who's going to be starting game three. I think regardless, it's not someone that's going to be giving a ton of length. They're going to rely on that bullpen, which was great today. Yeah. Um, you know, Bryce Elder, if he does pitch, like he was great in the first half of the season. Every Braves fan will say it was very rocky for the second half of yeah. the year. Um, but it, who else would they go going, to? Well, it'll be some version of a bullpen game, most likely yeah. for Atlanta, no matter yeah. who starts, you know, I think, right. you know, even if Bryce does get time there in the first, it's still going to be a pretty short leash, you know? Right, right. Yeah, go as hard as you can, as long as you can. If that's two, well, they don't have a five. legit third starter right now that they can trust yeah. to ride for a while, like Charlie right. Morton could be for them in the next round, which is kind of yeah. crazy when you look at what they did during the regular season. And they definitely patched a lot of different starters together to get through yeah. the entire year. And it just never was that much of a problem, like because the offense was so good and the defense. And that's what I do want to point out too, is for as much as we've talked about this team scoring this year, their defense is tight. Like you go position by position (laughs) and it is above average to elite, right? Yeah. Catching position. You've got Murphy and Darno. Uh You've got Olsen at first, who does a great job there. Albies does a great job. Um, Albies over a hundred RBIs as a second baseman. Yeah, obviously got <laughs> offense from everyone, but yeah. Arcia, Arcia is legit. Who, who's held it down, who was kind of the surprise in spring trainings that some people thought maybe Von Grissom was going to take that job or Shoemake who was making some noise in spring. Nope. Uh-huh. It was Arcia all year who had a really hot start with the bat too. Riley does a great job and has improved a lot at third yeah. base. And then the outfield hold it down, especially with, uh, with Harris out there in center field. He's Harrison Acuna. Uh, I mean, yeah, Rosario, right. Rosario's the weak link, but he, he is the one weak you. link. He's got the arm, but he's the one weak link yeah. in terms of uh, the glove. Yeah. But I mean, eight out of nine, that's pretty damn good. Yeah, <laughs> and they can I, all I mean, fit. I'll, I'll take that for sure. I yeah. will take that. And Pilar um, defensive replacement. Yeah. You can put yeah. him out there, you know, if you need, obviously uh, in this situation, he pinch hit earlier in the game, but wow, what a freaking performance from the Atlanta Braves to come back in this one. Cause otherwise, I mean, if they're down two Oh heading to Philadelphia, like, do you think the Braves take three from the Phillies the way that they're stacked up? I mean, I think it's possible, but it's possible it with that lineup. Task. But like you mentioned, like this, who the starting rotation or who they, you know, they're going to have to bullpen it when you're down two two games, nothing. It's, it's tough trying to bullpen it. You know what I mean? Like you got to ma- make sure that you get the right guys at the right moment, keep them in, take them out at the right time. It's one one, so you can kind of afford to you know, let's gamble with this guy. Let's gamble with Elder, see if we can get another inning out of him. When you're down two nothing, you there's no gambling. And and here, think about this. Um, if you're the Phillies and you get through that game one, three nothing, you really shut the offense down. You knew that you know it was gonna be tough to do that back to back nights, but you're like, I got Wheeler Nola for two and three. I'm lined up really well. And you watch the first half of that game and many people are looking and going series over the, at one point we're like, Truist Park must be shook right now, Uh halfway through, you know, and there's just nothing from their offense, but that's how quickly it can change too. So got to give it a ton of credit to them. You know, I know, Um, Brian Snicker caught some flack in game one for switching up the lineup like a little bit, you know, Snicker and the Braves putting the lineup together, but whatever. They just, they didn't hit in that first game. And then we saw what they're able to do. There's pop from top to bottom in that order. Yeah. And, and there were probably just as many Braves fans today being like, what? No Murphy every game here? (laughs) (laughs) Well, uh, yeah. I mean, when when Snicker did his in game interview, I don't even remember what was talked about, but he was so calm, you know, and and what was happening. And at that time, they were they were down three or four to nothing. It's like, yeah, we got to piece together some hits and some good at bats, you know. Like there was no um, stress at all with him, and that's why they love this guy. They love him over there. It's, it's like he's thinking, oh, okay, I got this powerful offense. I know we can put put together some runs real easily. And they did that. You almost wonder if that's like changes the whole rest of the, the series, you know? Oh, for sure. Just kind of wakes up that offense. And now there's no more questions is where's the offense. <laughs>